Hey there folks, Lenny Rudo here for Fish Talk Magazine. Today we're going to talk about three tips that will help you catch more crappie. Now, tip number one is very simple. Use a light line. Crappie are leader shy sometimes. If you're using 8, 10, 12 pound test, you might not get the bites. But if you're using 4 pound test, you'll almost always get the bites. At least if line issues are the reason why the fish aren't biting. 4 pound test is strong enough to catch virtually any crappie out there. And it will ensure that you get plenty of bites. Tip number two, stop at the bait shop on your way to your hot spot and buy a bucket of minnow. Now, sure, during the summertime, when the fish are feeding hard, catching them on lures is absolutely no problem. But when the fish are being finicky, or in the off-season, middle of the winter, very early in the spring, having a minnow on the end of your line makes a big, big difference. In fact, this day, at this particular mill pond, we caught dozens and dozens of crappie. We only caught one on a lure, and we did try many casts with several different lures. Tip number three. Well, there are really two parts to tip number three. Crappie are structure oriented, and most people know this. So a lot of the times, crappie anglers will hit the shoreline. They will fish fallen trees, brush piles, uh, beaver dams, bridge pilings, things like this, and it does work. But in the winter time, particularly, the crappie are apt to suspend in midwater. You might be in 20 foot of water, and they might be at a depth of 10 feet. Now, why do they do this? It usually isn't structure related as much as it's temperature related. They're looking for that temperature break where they can find some warmer water. So the bottom line is, if you're fishing for them in the off season, make sure you check out open water areas and look to find the fish at mid depth. If you have a bridge going through the lake or, or the river that you're fishing in and there are bridge pilings where you can match up both structure and mid suspended depth, so much the better. Well, I hope these three tips help you catch more crappie, and I'll see you next time at fishtalkmag.com.